Good morning, guys. So it is Sunday and it is officially my last week in my psychiatry rotation here in Miami, Florida. Peep the fit, peep the fit. Busting out the blue pants today. I haven't really worn the blue pants that much. But anyways, I'm here on a weekend shift. My last time I had a weekend shift was on Saturday. But we do this like alternating, rotating thing where you work Saturday one day and then the week after that you work Sunday. But I'm heading over to my unit right now. I haven't been there since Thursday. Been uh, studying a little bit here and there. I have my shelf on Wednesday. So it is, is officially countdown time. We got like three, four days left. But anyways, I'm gonna do this shift. I don't think we should be here that long, but then I'm gonna just probably stay here on the hospital premises and then study a little bit. But anyways, let's get into it. All right, so plan of the week. So what I really wanna do specifically is to go through all my Anki cards for my review deck. And then after that, I wanna review my old MBMEs that I uh, already completed. I did five of them and there's only five, so I have to go through all of them, make sure that the questions that I got wrong were you know, fully fortified in my head. And I'm like, all right, this is why I got it wrong. And this is what I have to watch out for next time. And then after that, I'm gonna go review like my U World wrongs. I made a little bit of document, wrote down the questions, why I got it wrong and stuff like that. I'm gonna review that. And then tomorrow, yeah, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna do the firecracker exam, which is delegated to us by our school. I'm gonna do that, see how I do, review that as well also. And then after that, just kind of do like a power review the day before because our doctor here gives us the day off before our shelf exam. So since I have mine on Wednesday, he's gonna give me off Tuesday and just gonna do like a power review on Tuesday. I don't really do too much hardcore studying the day before an exam just cause like at that point it's like, you know what you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of to iron out the edges and you know, kind of expose my mind to a couple of things here and there. But that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I might do some Amboss questions if I have time for it. But to be honest, like time is kind of pressed right now. So I don't know if I'm able to finish all 298 of the questions that they have on there, but I'm gonna try to do my best. But regardless, I'm gonna do a little bit of studying here. And then after that, I'm gonna go pick up the patient list, see who's new, see who's follow up and see if I'm gonna actually have to do a new patient intake. But yeah, that's pretty much what the plan is for today and the plan for the rest of the week. But after that, I have my shelf exam Wednesday, but we do still have to come in Thursday, Friday to work because I will be missing my day of work on Tuesday since that's the day I get off before my exam. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the rest of the week. And uh, let's see, my flight is on Friday at 6 p.m. So yeah, I also have to do a little bit of uh, packing here or there because I want to be ready by the time Friday comes around. That's why I can just pick up my stuff, head out the room, and you know, dip to go back to California, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, let's uh, get this day started. I just finished presenting to my doctor right now. He gave me a little bit of feedback on my HPI and soap note, and he said that I can go, so I'm just gonna go pick up my stuff, maybe go to the library here. They, I wasn't sure if we can use the library because I'm not really a student student here, but I'm gonna go check it out anyways. But anyways, I'm gonna go pick up my stuff and then head out. All right, you guys, so it is 7.30 right now. It's Monday, I had my day of work. I came back, got some boba, which was really good. And I actually just took 
my firecracker exam that is mandatory from the school. I kind of wish that I saved it for tomorrow morning just cause like whenever I take exams or like practice tests in the afternoon or at nighttime, I'm just not always there. I can notice that I was, you know, kind of like drifting in and out of like concentration. So that was probably a mistake. I got my score back and it was fine. I kind of wish I did a bit, little bit better, but the score that I got, I'm like, all right, I mean, it's cool. But you know, whenever a test day is coming up, I kind of wish that I see a higher score on these practice exams. But regardless, I'm gonna go through it probably tomorrow morning just because I'm feeling kind of fatigued. I had a headache before the exam too, so I had to take a nap before that. So I was a little, I was all out of sorts to uh, just to tell you guys. I um, have about, let's see, I have about like 129 more cards left on um, Anki, so I have to finish that. And then depending on how I feel after that, I might go to bed early and wake up early and start working, or you know, I might just like work like maybe like until 10 or something like that. So that's the plan for right now. Um, I'm a little bit hungry. Maybe I go pick up a pizza. I don't know. Dude. I just ate pizza the other day. Anyway, regardless, I'm just I'm just rambling. But anyways, um, tomorrow is my day off because the doctor or the rotations they give you the day off before your uh, shelf exam. So tomorrow is just going to be a straight review day. I'm going to reset, maybe not reset, but I'm going to set aside um, a deck to do all of my uh, Anki cards over again, which should be about a thousand cards. So that should maybe take like an hour or two to get through. I just want to like make sure that I see every single car one more time again, and then after that, I'm going going to review my wrong worksheets and then probably look through my MBMEs and this practice exam that I just took today. So um, there we go. That's pretty much the plan for tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I'll be taking my exam 8 a.m. I'll probably have to leave here around seven just because I don't really know how the traffic is here in Miami that early. But you know, it's better safe than sorry. Better I be there early than you know show up late. So that's the plan. I will talk to you guys a little bit. All right, y'all. So I am here. It is Wednesday, and I am in front of my Prometric Center, and I'm going to be taking my shelf exam. I thought I was going to be here a little bit later. It's like 6:30 or 6:40, and it starts at 8. But when I looked last week to kind of get an estimate for how long it would take Uber to get here, it said it would take like at least an hour. So I was expecting to show up here like around 7.20, 7.30. And I'm here like almost a whole hour and a half early. So I'm going to go inside. I hope it's open. I hope it's not locked. And I'm going to see if I can just sit in there and chill until um, it starts up. So I'll let you guys know how it goes after. I don't know why it's so dark. Let me get some light in here. There we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna go sit in there and I'll let you guys know how it goes after, all right? y'all i am back i just got back from the permetric site and from the barbershop hold on y'all see the angles y'all see the angles mm. y'all see the cut y'all see the beard mm, that's what i'm talking anyways <laughs> i just got back from the permetric site i took my shelf this morning and i've got to say it was a interesting experience it wasn't like as intensive as step one because step one uh it's a lot more nerve-wracking it's a lot more of an important test and there's a lot more security for that one this one they didn't have us like scan like our fingerprints and like all that stuff they just had us do like a sign in take our picture and dip so um step one was a lot more intensive so i, I just felt like the the aura was a lot more relaxed and maybe like the the faculty there was actually or like the staff that was like working that were actually a lot more chill as well but anyways in terms of the exam i thought it was pretty fair the stuff that i was expected to be on there like depressive disorder psychotic disorders substance abuse all that stuff was on there and they're pretty straightforward they tried to throw some haymakers in there but you know you boy you know we dodge those and um they were pretty straightforward but there were some questions on there maybe like six or seven maybe maybe even ten questions that were like weird like i've never seen questions asked like that before so i wasn't sure what they were asking or like 
you know you were trying to get at specifically but you know all you can really do is just uh put your best uh foot forward and uh answer the best that you can which i did and uh, i think i only flagged like maybe nine of them that were weird or like that i wasn't sure about but other than that like i thought it was a pretty fair test um i finished with like maybe 10 15 minutes earlier than I was supposed to, cause it's like about a two and a half hour exam with 110 questions. So I was able to look at the questions that I flagged and then some questions here and there. I try not to change my answers after I uh, put it down because every time I change my answer, I just have the worst luck and I just get it wrong. So learn from that and <laughs> I definitely just kept my, from my answer for most. I think I only changed like maybe one or two of them cause I was just like, okay, this has to be the answer cause I like read it wrong or something. But other than that, I am done for the day. I'm gonna go admire my cut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day. I do still have work for the next two days. And then on Friday, I catch my flight to California and yeah, that'll be it for the psychiatry rotation. Alright you guys, what is good? So today is Thursday and it's the day after my shelf and I went to work today. Um, right now, I'm planning on cleaning my room, uh, packing everything up because I have a flight tomorrow to go back to California for my next rotation, internal med. I actually just got confirmed for the rest of my rotation, surgery, pediatrics, OB-GYN. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that all in California as well so I won't have to be traveling all over the, the, <laughs> the country just to uh, you know do rotations. So that's like, that's a relief and like the next rotation after Oakland is like only an hour away for um, uh, the rotations after that so I'm just gonna clean up this room make sure this room is nice and tidy because I'm at an Airbnb I want to make sure everything uh, is the way it was when I first got here so I don't have any like issues but other than that the family I was staying with here with they are a great family they've been feeding me almost every day and I appreciate that so I'm gonna see if I can do something nice for them maybe get them flowers or something like that I don't know so I will see you guys later peace have a nice day why am I doing a whole sign out let me just all right let's go what's good you guys so today is friday and today is officially my last day for the psychiatry rotation i'm going to be catching a flight later today at six to go to california for where i'm going to be doing my internal medicine rotation that one's going to be like 12 weeks so i'm going to be setting up shop there for way longer and i actually just got confirmed to the rest of my rotations for surgery ob guide and peds to be all in california as well so it was nice to be here in miami but i'm going to be in california for the rest of my third year and then after that step two and then step two ck and all that good stuff so today I'm going to try to get the full experience today I am going to be um, checking out giving back my badge and everything because like I don't think you can keep the badges here just like hospital policy and everything but besides all that I'm gonna give back my keys check out so I'm gonna give the keys back for my Airbnb and then after that I'm gonna say my final goodbyes so I'm heading to my unit right now and then after that I'll catch back up with you guys all right Alright y'all, so I just said goodbye to the family that I was living with in an Airbnb for the last six weeks. It was really sad because there was like three kids that, would live, that were living here, like maybe two, three years old, and they all like took a, little, like a big liking to me. Um, I felt like an older brother or kind of like a dad in, the, in a way, and I was just like very attached to them, but they're gone now. I'm very sad. They're not going to remember me in the future, so... Uh, it is what it is. I'm waiting for my friend Jake to come pick me up. Uh, I'm gonna get changed out of the stuff because I'm not gonna travel like this. Uh, just be really uncomfortable. And then after that, I'm gonna head to the airport for Lauderdale and head out at six. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All 
are you guys? I just landed in California. It is Friday or Saturday technically, uh, midnight, and I'm gonna be picking up my uh, bags at the baggage claim, and then that'll be officially a wrap for all my psych videos for the rotations here, and I'll be starting my next rotation on Tuesday for internal med. So I'll see you guys later. Peace, have a nice day.